Good afternoon, all set for video blog number two. Today I wanted to speak on a topic that I'm frequently asked about, and that's the possibility of adding a rental unit or in-law suite to your current residence or one that you buy. A lot of us have seen the show Income Property, and if you haven't checked it out, it's a really good show. The host, Scott McGillivray, is a great success story. Right out of university, he started buying up bungalows in Guelph and converting them into two units. He's now 30, manages over 18 properties, and host the show which helps others do the same. Now we watch this, we say this is awesome, but what are the logistics behind this? Can we legally do this in Ottawa? The answer is yes, absolutely we can. In 2005 the city made it quite easy and completely legal to put a secondary unit in almost any home in Ottawa. And it's all part of the city's intensification plan. Now what this means is exactly as it sounds, making the city more intense or increasing the number of people living within the limits. How we do that? Increasing the number of places where people can live through more condos, severing of larger lots to create infill development, and of course today's topic, secondary dwellings. The discussion on intensification, it's a huge debate, a lot of people for it, a lot of people against it, and it's a better topic for another day. But what's important is that the concept of intensification is inherent and highly encouraged in our city's official plan, making it fairly accessible to create a secondary dwelling in your home. Now it's true the city makes it easier for us to legally create these units, but the process of doing it is certainly not easy, nor is it cheap. But it can yield excellent return. Uh, you can't simply put a kitchen, a bath, and a bedroom in your basement and legally rent it out. There is a permit process and strict codes to adhere to when creating these units. However, a unit that's created properly will yield, yield excellent rental income and greatly increase the value of your home. It's also important to note that not every home is suitable for a conversion. Certainly it can be done in most homes, but for the right price. So it's not going to make fiscal sense for everyone. It's something you have to research and plan extensively to make sure you're, you're making a smart investment. I've included a link to the City of Ottawa's website. It can, it'll steer you in the right direction. But if it's something you thought of doing, get in contact with me and let's talk about it. Or if you're in the market for a new property, maybe you'd like to consider one that can be easily converted into two units. There's lots of them out there and in any price range. Again, never hesitate to contact me with any questions. Uh, this is what I love to do. Homes, renovations, uh, investments, these are my passions and I'd like to be a resource for anyone who has interest. Uh, to me, my job is not always about buying and selling, but helping friends, family and clients making those smart decisions about their homes and how they use them. That's it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and talk to you soon.